Oh, yes. <laughs> I was just thinking of that church financing. Yes. <laughs> there weren't any in the way that were money laundering, were you, Poach? <laughs> Now when I think of volunteers that wear their panties below the pubic hair line so there's no line on the front, <laughs> those that want to wear a specially designed bra so that they can release their breasts without taking the bra off, yes, <laughs> those that don't want to remove their clothing but they want that experience of the missionary position, pooch, where they have no clothes on. <laughs> There might be some women in Christianity that you've been abusing, poo. Come to find out. Now why don't you get me every church that's over 50 years old from the time of the permit to building it, pooch. I think Christianity is just full of unnecessary junk, pooch. I've been in a lot of church libraries where they thought, oh my gosh, we have to have a church library, and they got books upon books upon books, but nobody seems to read anymore. Everybody comes to find out instead of reading, pooch. Now let's say I offered you some church financing, one of these older churches, 50 years or older, yes. <laughs> and I said, well, I'll refinance your financing and I'm gonna ask for some volunteers to do some missionary work. Oh, <laughs> they're in the office during voluptuous, maybe my 10 days, ooch, <laughs> that we might have that special love-making, baby-making <laughs> experience where it's just the two of us, but <laughs> they seem to have a bee on them. <laughs> And at times they seem a little slutty because they'll just lift up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they leave their clothes on while having sex <laughs> just so that they can come to find out. <laughs> Let's say I did the church financing and you decided that you'd give me every item out of the church that you no longer are using. <laughs> So that I could recycle every item out of every old church where you don't really need that church library, do you? It's just sitting there taking up a room. Pooh! <laughs> and those old pews, you want to put, uh, you want to put chairs in? <laughs> How about some innovations that reduce your fixed utility costs so that when I refinance, <laughs> your utility costs have gone 70% less than what they were before the refinancing. <laughs> Now, the condition is I'm going to take every unnecessary item from all the old churches, and some of it I'll recycle and turn into electricity or building materials, and some of it I will give to churches that want to rent the storefront. <laughs> And all they need is a small sound system, a few chairs to do some street outreach. Yes. <laughs> and their thought is, well, we can rent a space. We can go out there and tell people about Jesus. <laughs> and uh, I will provide all the necessaries from the old churches to the new churches that want to start where they don't money launder and they're not going the way, which, the way of fucking the congregation. <laughs> now... I had certain individuals in mind that I wanted to run this, and they work 20 days a, a month with those women that <laughs> want to have the baby. Pow, pow! <laughs> they like to shop at three or four. In fact, a Mexican woman, very large-breasted, that, ooch, <laughs> when I go spending money, I just love it. When women try clothes on, <laughs> you ever seen those dresses where they they have uh, strings that uh, on the front of the dress that it's... It's got, you ever seen Sargosa Sea? Yes. Well, some very attractive white bre uh, white dresses, yes, they, they go below the knee or sometimes they go to the ankle. Yes. But they lace up the front so that it can be loose or it can be tight. Yes. Sometimes large-breasted women like to reveal the in... Oh. The left and right side of the breast while looking through the lace of the top of a dress. Oh my gosh. Now not every... It could be a style. <laughs> the lace-up cleavage of those that <laughs> tie it up tight when they don't want you to see. And they leave the laces very loose when they do. <laughs> now... Let's say you're Catholic. Yes, Mexican-American. And you might be, oh, triple D or larger. And your thought is, well, every you do like to shop. And you'd like to help out some old Catholic churches that have too much, too much stuff. Yes. Well, I like to restore them back to their original condition with all my... <laughs>